going to just peel right off. Oh, that's my Frenchie. Sorry. I'm Priscilla Baez, celebrity hair extensionist slash stylist, and I'm here with Refinery29. I'm here to show you how to properly remove your tape extensions from home. Before you see my hair transformation, subscribe below. Hair is my whole life. <laughs> I discovered my passion for hair when I was so young. I was probably like five or six years old, and I have a lot of cousins, and we're all close in age, and I would cut their hair. One would have like crooked bangs, one would have like, you know, I would just like chop it. I got caught every single time. <laughs> I specialize in hair extensions. That's just what I do. Extensions, extension cutting, which is with a razor, not scissors. I've learned actually every single method and I only offer the two that I really think are the best, which is tape and extensions and keratins. We are going to be removing my top row. I am wearing Glam Seamless Hair Extensions. I've had them in for a couple months now. I'm going to clip my hair out of the way here. You can see the tape and extension right there. The removal solution that we're gonna be using is the Glam Seamless Hair Extensions, and this is Rapid Release Remover. And all you need to do is do a couple of sprays on it. And you put your finger right in the middle, and you feel the sandwich. You want to get your finger in between the sandwich of extensions and it'll just come right off, just like that. Everybody's hair grows a little differently, but I've got some clients that I remove every four weeks and then I have some clients that remove every eight to 12 weeks. There's one. And then you just want to kind of go back with a fine tooth comb. If there's any residue, you just want to comb through that stickiness. And now we're gonna take out the next one. You kind of spray on the tape, but also above it because you wanna let the liquid get inside of the tape extension. Then you just put your finger in the middle. And because these are so grown out and old, they're just peeling right off. I think it's all about looking extremely natural when it comes to extensions. That has to do with matching the hair textures, matching the hair color, shaping and cutting so that the ends of it look really natural with viewers wanting to take out their extensions by themselves. If you are in keratin individual bonds, and if you're in sew and wefts as well, I would recommend holding on to a little bit longer and waiting for your stylist to remove those. Clip, because that requires scissors and there's a braid sometimes. Beret and heel. The cost of the extensions are different per client. And there's so many different types of hair. There's virgin hair, there's um, manufactured hair. It just really, really depends. It can vary anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. It just depends on what the client is really looking for. And the quality of hair with extensions, you pay for what you get. Because I'm cheating, I didn't take everything out, but my top is out. I really just have two on my sides now, but feels so much better. So basically, even when I'm removing on clients, I like to start from the top and work my way down. I recommend doing your sides first just so that you can get the feel of it. Once you get to the back, you can position your mirror so that you can see what you're doing. If not, then um, the way that I like to do it is I like to just feel it. And as long as you keep your section up and keep putting the hair up top, you just work your way down. Nothing gets like left behind. No residue gets left in the hair because you are working section by section. It's important to take them out properly because if you don't, you can cause damage. And you know, a lot of extensions have a bad reputation because of a bad application or because of bad removal. So as long as you have the right tools and you remove properly, then there is no damage. Thank you for watching Refinery29. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.